Welcome back everybody. Our next step is to prove the triangle inequality for LP spaces. This one is called the Minkowski's inequality. Let E be measurable and let F and G be elements of LP where P is greater than 1 and smaller than infinity. Then we have that the sum F plus G is in LP again and we have that the norm of the sum is less than or equal than the sum of the norms. So we need to prove two things. The first thing is to prove that the sum f plus g is in LP again. Let's look at an element x in E and let's call f of x a and g of x b. Then a and b are real numbers and we have the triangle inequality for real numbers which is that the absolute value a plus b is less than or equal the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b which is of course smaller than two times the maximum of those two absolute values and we can write that the absolute value of a plus b to the p's power is less than or equal than two times than two to the p's power times the norm of a to the p's power plus b to the p's power. This is because this underlined term already is bigger than the left side, and b to the p's power is a positive number which doesn't, doesn't change our inequality. And now by monotonicity of integration, we can conclude that f plus g is uh, in LP again. And we need to prove the triangle in inequality. We have that the p norm of f plus g is by definition of the conjugate function of f plus g equal to the integral f plus g times the conjugate of f plus g. By linearity of integration we can write this as f times the conjugate f plus g plus the integral g times the conjugate f plus g now we need to remember Helder's inequality, which I have written down for you for convenience here. This is Helder's inequality. And we need to apply it to the functions f and f plus g conjugate, which gives us that the sum of those two integrals is less than or equal the p norm of f times the q norm of f plus g conjugate plus the p norm of g times the q norm of f plus g conjugate. Now we remember that this term and this term are 1 and we can conclude that this line is equal to the p norm of f plus the p norm of g and we are finished with the proof because we, we have now shown that the p norm of f plus g is less than or equal the sum of the p norms of f plus g which is the triangle inequality in our LP space.